Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about my favorite health technology, canned water. Now, water is the essence of all life, and without water, our lives and the planet would cease to exist. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this machine. I started drinking this about eight years ago, and it's done tremendous things for my life. Let me just show you a picture of what I look like at the age of 30, right before I got the machine. See, see the dark circles behind the eyes? I just looked a lot more tired, a lot more puffy, and look at me now. So in this presentation, I'm going to be explaining why the highest achieving people in the world are using this exact machine right here. People like Bill Gates, Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, Tom Brady and Giselle, also Floyd Mayweather, Kevin Hart, people like this are all using this exact machine. I'm also going to show you why buying all these other bottled water options and these fancy filters out there are a waste of money and also destroying the planet and especially our own health as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so this is the Level Up K8 machine made by the manufacturer Enagic. This company started in 1974 and essentially the idea behind it is ionization or electrolysis of water. So what is going to happen is the tap water is going to get refiltered through this machine. It's going to go through an active carbon filter, which takes out a lot of impurities like chlorine, lead, heavy metals that are found in our water supply. Then it's going to go through a process of ionization where there's eight titanium plates in here that are platinum coated. These are all medical grade plates, send an electric current into the water to change the whole structure. It's going to do three things. It's going to make it antioxidant, it's going to make it alkaline, and it's going to make it microclustered or super hydrating. So we're going to go into samples of every single one of these things and why they're so beneficial. So everyone asked the question, can we actually stop the aging process? Currently with our technology, no we cannot, but we could also speed up the aging process and we could significantly slow it down through getting antioxidant absorption. So Kangen water is really good with the antioxidant quantities that it produces in the machines. We can't possibly eat enough fruits and vegetables in a day to mimic the same amount of antioxidant value that you're going to get from one glass of Kangen water. So we're going to be measuring the antioxidant or oxidizing value that's in all of these beverages. So we have an ORP meter right here, it's oxidation reduction potential. It's measured in millivolts. So if something is zero, it's neither oxidizing nor antioxidant. If something is negative, it's antioxidant. If something is positive, it's oxidizing. The higher the number that is oxidizing, the worse it is, the more it's going to age us. So we're looking at Sprite right now. As you can see, it's jumping up to 349. 350 range. I'm just using a little bit of water to dip to clean it. Then we're going to go into the Pellegrino. 330 range. Beta range. Wow, look at that, just jump up. 390s. Smart water. 330s. Old spring. Fifties. Essentia. Very expensive water. Much better. It's in the two forties. Three hundred range. This is tap water. Three thirty range. And then tang in water. Boom. As you can see, that negative number, that means it's highly antioxidant. You can eat about 100 of fruits and vegetables, and you're still going to get more antioxidant value through the Kangen water through one glass of it. So, the next benefit of Kangen water is its alkalinity factor. Now, in 1931, there was, a, there was a gentleman by the name of Dr. Otto Warburg. He won the Nobel Peace Prize for discovering the root cause of cancer. He said that all disease is only grown in an acidic environment. And disease cannot grow or thrive when the body is alkaline. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna check the pH levels of all of these waters. Now the pH scale goes from zero to 14, seven is base, so anything below seven is gonna be acidic, anything above seven is gonna be alkaline. Now let me just show you right here with this pH dropper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a couple of drops. So, 
This is our pH chart. This is gonna be all the way at the bottom, very acidic. This is gonna be very alkaline. This is neutral right here. Now, the pH chart works algorithmically. So if you go from seven to six, six is 10 times more acidic than seven. You go from seven to five, it's 100 times more acidic. Seven to four is 1,000 times. Seven to three, 10,000 times. Seven to two, 100,000 times more acidic. All right, so as you can see, Sprite is somewhere at a level 2.5. So it's highly almost 100,000 or more times acidic than just neutral water. Pellegrino, same deal. Anything with carbonation is gonna be acidic. Gatorade, one of the biggest marketing lies out there that athletes drink this stuff. They actually don't drink it because if you're drinking acidic stuff, it's gonna increase your lactic acid buildup. It's not gonna help you in any way athletically. And it's also gonna diminish your bone density. So that's a marketing scam right there. Smart water, somewhere around uh, neutral. Poland Spring, acidic, somewhere around a four. Essentia, they say that they're 9.5 water. That's great, we'll look into that further, but remember how um, oxidizing this was. Fiji, again, they market it as being one of the best waters on the planet. This is um, somewhere around an eight and a half or so. This is tap water. Tap water needs to remain slightly alkaline, somewhere around 7.5 is eight. And the reason is if the water and the tap is acidic, it's gonna go through the pipes, it's gonna rust up all the pipe infrastructure in the city, and they're gonna to have to keep replacing it. So in order to get to this color or to this alkalinity, they're adding a chemical called lye, which has a pH of 14. It's great to raise the pH of stuff, but it's really bad for our bodies. So keep that in mind when you do drink tap water, it's very chemically altered. And then obviously we have the Kangen water. This is Kangen water 9.5 and I'll show you just how great this is. Now, just a little note about these bottled waters, especially the ones that come from overseas. These are packaged somewhere around anywhere between six and eight months prior to even getting to the shelves. By the time you get it, it could be a year. Um, and then all these other waters, same deal. So when you're drinking this stuff, it's called dead water. This stuff is live as you're getting the antioxidant benefits. You're also getting it fresh, straight from our water supply in the cities and then you're able to chem or molecularly structure, change the structure of this water. So just another note about bottled water, because it's sitting in the plastic for anywhere from six months to two years it could be, the plastic is gonna be leaching into the water with BPA, which is a dangerous chemical, also estrogen mimickers that get into our body, and then we can't actually detoxify those out in many levels if you're not doing active detoxification. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to be taking this stuff into our bodies. We just want the water, not all the other shit. So we just bought bottled water. This is Essentia, right? This is supposed to be some of the best stuff out there. I'm looking here and it's got five different ingredients. Purified water, sodium bicarbonate, deep potassium phosphate, magnesium sulfate, and calcium chloride. So when they're adding all these different chemical alterations, that's how they're getting the alkalinity, right? So if we just take a little experiment here, so as we know, oxygen has is oxidizing when we saw the ORP meter just in the air, it's showing that. So so that's what the real value of this water is. It's acidic. Once it hits the oxygen, once it gets inside your body, it's gonna turn acidic. So I can do that for all of these guys with the canyon water because this is molecularly altered. So we're actually changing the, the whole molecule, changing the, making a different molecule itself. It's maintaining its alkalinity. Now, the great thing is, imagine these as all different types of people and types of bodies, right? So we have some people that are acidic, some people that are more alkaline. The great thing is when you start drinking the Kangen water, miraculous things start to happen, right? Now, here's the catch, right? Because I told you about the algorithmic scale of the acidity. So as you're getting into these lower acids, it's a lot harder to get alkaline, right? So now I'm gonna try taking the Kangen water and it's not affecting it. It's because it's so acidic that you need about 32 full pitchers of these things in order to change the alkalinity back to neutral. So just keep that in mind. If you guys are drinking any acidic stuff like Allegrino, you know, some people that do that, Sprite, and these other Gatorade, um, it's adding a lot of acidity into your life, and you should probably not even have them in the house anymore now that you know about this. So if you continue to drink Sprite after you get all alkaline, oh, which is maybe I want a little glass, right? This is what happens. So do me a favor, if 
if you learned one thing from this video, take this and throw it in the trash. So today for the purpose of demonstration, we're gonna use, we're gonna make some tea. Normally we would use hot water to make tea, but for the purposes of this, we're gonna use uh, bottled water and the canyon water. Use the pollen spring water here. So as you can see, the canyon water is able to penetrate into that, to that tea bag. Imagine this is your cell. It's able to hydrate the cell and then flush out any acidic waste represented by the tea here. So we're able to brew it very quickly. This, this uh, tea bag has been opened up already. Let's see if it works with this. No. And this one hasn't been opened up. I'm trying to open the canyon water. So I can make as many cups of tea as I want because it's so super hydrating this water. Let's try some other stuff. Let's try Fiji. So if you guys have ever had our delicious tea, just know that we use one tea bag for about 50 glasses of tea per day. So we're just constantly adding hot water and it just creates as much tea as we want to create. So we're going to take the canyon water. With just a couple of drops of tea, you're able to make all freaking glass. Imagine that you're taking supplements and vitamins. Let's put a little bit of this uh, this tea residue, and then we'll take the canyon water. Look how much utilization it's creating from just a few drops. Taking supplements, protein shakes, whatever you want. With this, you're not getting that. Two drops of the tea, not producing anything. Those were the three major benefits, but now I'm gonna show you the machine itself. There's seven different types of water that you can produce. So if you come on this way, I'm gonna show you. So the canyon water, there's three different types of drinking waters. There's 8.5, 9, 9.5. Those correlate to the pH. Obviously it's alkaline water. Then you're getting 7.0, which is clean water. It's good for babies because they're already alkaline or if you're taking any kind of medication that's time released. We also have beauty water, which is 6.0, slightly acidic. It's really good as a facial toner. I'm sure in the beauty shops, they sell it for anywhere from $30 to $70. Toners, you could use this all day. I feel great. So most importantly, we have 2.5 water, which is strong acidic water. And at the same time, 11.5 water comes out of the top. So you're gonna get the acidic stuff coming out of here, the alkaline coming out of here. So at the 2.5, that's great as a, desan or a sanitizer. So you can actually replace all your household cleaners and bottle it up. You can use it as a spray bottle and clean your bathrooms, your toilets, bacteria, all this kind of stuff that it can kill in 60 seconds. So as you're getting the 2.5 water out of here, you want to bottle that. At the same time, 11.5 water is coming out of here. It's called strong alkaline water and it's very high in alkalinity. It's 11.5. So the idea behind that, it's a degreaser. So when we eat food, we have a lot of residue of chemicals, uh, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides that are sprayed onto all of our foods. I don't care if you eat organic or eat non-organic, there's still gonna be chemical residue on there no matter what. So right now we're gonna do a little experiment using the strong uh, uh, canyon water to remove chemical additives onto our tomatoes. For order for the farmers to use pesticides, they have to use ones that don't wash off in the water. So they use oil-based pesticides on these things. So it even says, wash before eating. So we use some smart water. We wash our vegetables. Some of the 11.5 water. All right, so now we're gonna test these to see how much chemicals came off. So smart water, looks like nothing. With the Kangen, strong Kangen water, you can see all those oil-based pesticides are not going into our body, it's coming out in the water, and we're just eating the fruits and vegetables as nature intended. So we have somebody to demonstrate for us, or to actually Who's test. That somebody? Anyhow, so I'm gonna ask her to just try these and tell me what you think. Definitely a difference. The first one was a little more flavorful. Um, the second one just tasted a little more dull, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so essentially what we did is we, on the first one we stripped all the chemicals and the pesticides off of it. As you can see, 
Oh, that harsh nastiness. Yeah, that's kind of gross. That's if you look at the difference in color, can yeah. you guys see that? That's so like this is uh, still has a little all yellowish. Enzyme. And I was saying, even with organic food, it's you're still getting chemical residue. There's Completely a bunch agree. of things that they can still put in there and still call it organic. So you always want to wash your, your produce. So there you have it, the healthiest water on the planet. I started out my health journey with this machine shortly actually after my dad passed away. God, if I knew about this technology and others that I've learned about since then, I definitely would have implemented it in his recovery. Unfortunately, I didn't have that chance, but now all of my family members are on this water. I wouldn't have them drink anything else. And I have this uh, dream that every one of our clients and our guests, they also utilize this water. So we're gonna be doing a two week trial for everybody that wants to come in. It's a free trial. There's no obligation to purchase the unit. You come, come in every single day, fill up a gallon of water. All you need to do is purchase a bag for seven bucks. But see how this water impacts your life. I guarantee it's gonna change it if you drink it every single day. And then we can talk about how you can get one and produce unlimited amounts of water in your own home and not have to use plastic anymore.